Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be part two of my electric steering video. The first video, we got it all installed, but we still had to fix the fact that I still had a belt driven pump on Frankie and I couldn't really drive it. We just did a couple tugs back and forth on the steering wheel in the garage. So as I was putting this video together, I decided that a lot of you are probably here just to see how I liked the upgrade to the power steering. So what I'm going to do is actually go into where we went on the ride after, and then I'll give my thoughts on how I like it. If you're interested in how I did the front end accessory drive on this thing, stay tuned because it will be at the end of the video. steering pump the factory power steering pump that is when I turned it would wind pretty good in or not but into a default mode which runs the pump at 70% it's kind of to limp you home to get it fixed or whatever
upgrade. Frankie likes Volvo parts. Ooh, I didn't realize. I don't know if you can see my gas gauge, but it's down to the red. I better. highly recommend if you're going to do this upgrade is moving to a uh, 3G alternator which I did that when I when I put the motor in back in this I just made me a harness and put a 3G in it All right guys we're back I got to tell you, I'm very happy with it. I'm extremely pleased with the results. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I like the response better. It's a little bit, just a tiny bit harder to turn than it was before. And to me, that is more of what I wanted when I put this thing together. In this video, we eliminate the power steering pump altogether and use a method that I devised a long time ago when I was running a manual rack in the 8.9. One side note that I will mention that if your vehicle still has AC or an AC bypass pulley, you can probably just buy a shorter belt that just bypasses where the power steering pump is at and you'll be golden. So, in this episode here, we are going to be uninstalling this pump all the way out of there. And then I got to swap this bracket for the bracket that's on the 8.9, my other Mustang over there. Reason for that is, I've already uh, modified that one to accept this pulley right here. Um, this pulley is, I'll put it, a link in the description. It is for a power stroke. Um, some of the power strokes had two alternators. So it's like a police ambulance package, I believe. Anyway, um, wound up, it came with the pulley, this uh, stem or whatever you call it, and wound up cutting, I wanna say an inch off of it to make it line up with, you know, everything there. This bracket is the modification that you use when you eliminate AC. Uh, this came on the cars from the factory that did not have AC. And since we don't have AC or power steering over here, we need a pulley over here for the belt. I do have a short belt that I bought years ago when I did this modification on the 8.9 and we will be using that today as well. I also have these well, I only have one. I can't find the other one, so I'm going to have to cut another one out of some stock. Put that in there as a spacer, and I think the other one is either shorter or longer. I don't think they're the same length. I already took the belt off, so what we need now is a 5 8 and a 9 16 socket. I'm hoping, hoping this thing's got enough beans to at least pull it out. Got these two nuts that hold the rest of this bracket on. Now, uh, I'm all 
let's move over to the 8.9. And that there, you can kind of see where it used to reside. reason that's hot. So it's been several days since that video was filmed and I just wanted to come back out here, show this off because I wasn't really all that satisfied with how that video ended up. Um, just a couple things. I tried putting this belt on. It was too short. I remembered that the 8.9 actually has underdrive pulleys so the belt was not quite what we needed it to be. So I went out and I got the original alternator right there, removed the pulley off of it. That's the pulley that was on Frankie. And I moved this pulley to here. So this is actually the pulley off the original alternator. And that wound up allowing the belt that I already had to be long enough. It is, well that's the part number right there. Not, I mean you'd have to have yours in the exact same spot as me as far as where that pulley's at just wanted to show it all off to you uh, it rides very well all right guys that's going to do it for this episode i appreciate you tuning in and watching uh let me know down below do you think this is a viable option for your mustang or whatever vehicle you drive i appreciate it any questions yeah Let's have them.
Thank you.